Big news of the day is Debian released 12.4, but if you were in a window of a couple hours, there is a ext4 corruption bug. So it's really, really important to know for those Debian people out there, the emergency patch was immediately coming out and pushing this. Uh, I don't obviously have a Debian loaded here to show you, but there is a revision. It's the subversion 14. And I want to say it was, uh, let's see if it says the exact subversion. It doesn't say it here, but I bet you on Debian.org it does. It should be, let's go bug advisory and 6.1.66 let's see our subversion come on give me give me give me a subversion here usually they're pretty good about this in the bug reports man you gotta love that they're still doing all this through email there is a better way probably but uh you know here we go that's it it's linux dash image 6.1.014 this right here is the version that is bad. Make sure you purge, or you don't have to purge it, honestly. You can just do a full upgrade, and it'll upgrade it to subversion 15, which is already out. So if you're a Debian user, just do a new fetch or a uname SR. So if, you, if you're unfamiliar, you can just pull up uh, this and just go uname SR. Uh, what, what is my dash SR? Uh, and you look for your subversion, or you can just do like a neo fetch, and your neo fetch will show in the kernel version right here. Uh, this is this would be subversion four of six point six. The version that you got to watch out for on Debian is going to be the six point one subversion fourteen. So that's the bad one. If you have that one and you're running ext four, danger Will Robinson danger upgrade immediately to subversion 15 this is an emergency patch definitely worth doing uh now some people uh, you might be running better fs do i have to worry not really am i running ext4 is this completely gonna mess up everything probably not really either it's just more of a subtle corruption type deal and it was caught so early with most things in linux i'm not really worried about it but he should uh uh should be should be fine <laughs> he opened thorium i get to keep my money oh <laughs> uh, yeah well i haven't i haven't switched over on floor i i still have so many pcs so many different installs it's gonna take me a, probably a couple weeks to switch everything over they use an apache server for the site Ugh. they should be using static site not apache gross uh email for the comms i mean I guess it works. IRC for development. I mean, it works. I, I I still like IRC. IRC still has some charm to it, so I'm not, I'm not, uh, not 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 too bad. I guess we can do a conversion to Florp over here. Although I'm about to wipe everything out again, so I'm like, ah, I don't want to. I don't think I'm gonna stay on Arctic. <laughs> if I see it again, I'll bets are off. Fair, fair, fair enough. Oh man. So that's uh the news of the day. What else we got going on? Released uh so 6.6.6. was released. Uh it's been a bumpy weekend following the ext data corruption bug which we kind of just talked about. Linux 6.6.6 .6 is out with a sole change dealing with another headache, Wi-Fi regressions. Interesting. So if you run into this error, CQM for non-range use. It will fix it. The patch ended up regressing Linux wireless support with deadlocks. The IWD uh, wireless daemon hangs on shutdown. Okay, uh, so not too bad. Not a bad little bug, but good to know. So if you want to get to the kernel of the beast, you can go ahead and upgrade and you get a little Wi-Fi regression. So if you are running into this bug, probably worth upgrading to the kernel of the beast. If not... Uh, you can stay where you're at. It's not going to be that big of an issue. And let's see. And honestly, if you're still running into it, you can let's just say you're a very religious person and you don't want to upgrade to that. Uh, you know, you just have a longer shutdown because that that daemon will hang up on you. So, eh, that's fine. 